Why do we wear steel toes? Let's kick this off. We got Walmart, Thrill Good. I don't know what brand this is, but who cares? There's no steel toe in that one. Steel toe, steel toe, no steel toe. We're gonna do us a little test. We're gonna take us a good night. Take us a bit of a piece of pipe and drop those on them steel toes and see how many digits you got left. And then we're gonna take this piece of pipe with that bevel on there and we're gonna drop that on your toes and see how many digits you got left. We stuck some, some sort of foam in there for a visual effect. Got us the Walmart boot right here. You're carrying some probably 30 pound piece of pipe and you're ready to get rid of it and you just let her go, right? This is what'll happen to your feet. If you're on a budget, quite honestly, you just put a little scuff in the leather. I'm pretty certain if they're called a steel toe, they're required to meet a certain specification. So I think that's designed. That's how a steel toe is supposed to work. That would be the back edge back here where the steel toe stops. Probably some broken toes, probably a broken foot, probably some unexpected time off. Here's the old Thoroughgood. This is a $300 boot. I must have center punched that one pretty good. That one, there's nothing wrong with that guy. Probably a little sore, but maybe a bruise, but not broke. But we did see where that weld put a mark in that leather. We didn't get the same response in the in the Walmart boot. I think I'm taking the expensive one so far. My toes don't hurt so bad. This is the cheapy old, no steel toes. Wouldn't even wear it on a job site. Oh, you can hear the difference. I heard toes breaking on that one. Oh yeah, look at that guy. That's your whole foot. Probably just a mush of hamburger in there. That's why you wear steel toes on the job, which is why most companies require it. You raggedy old pipeliners out on a pipeline wearing your hey dudes, you're just asking for it. Hopefully your welds are good enough to hold everything together so you don't drop it on your foot. Now we're gonna, we're gonna drop this bevel on there. One of the rules of thumb, when you're hanging pipe, you never grab the edge of that bevel because when two pieces of pipe come together, it's like a pair of scissors. We're gonna see what happens if you try to stop that with your foot. We got the old Walmart boot again. We're gonna drop the sharp edge on it. Don't try this at home. Man, if you miss a steel toe, you are missing toes. I don't know if you can see that real well, but either way, it don't matter if you got steel toes on or not, that's a bad day right there. We were just talking. I suspect that the steel toe and the sharp edge on that pipe, they caused some of that cut, and then I'll show you why here in a minute. We got the thorough good. I'll try to hit the toe a little more square, but either way, if you get your feet tangled up in something like this, you're gonna be regretting it. Thurgood, same scenario. I think if I'd hit it a little more square, it cut that leather right over the steel toe. This one, I'm sure you're missing half a foot. This one, you probably got away pretty lucky, probably sore. And then of course, we got the no steel toe. I'll try to center punch that guy. I'm not very good at aiming with the bevel. Ooh. Let's do that one again. I hit him right in the middle of the foot, probably right in there somewhere, which would be no good. I don't know if you noticed, but there's no cuts in it, but it mashed that baby flat when I did that, and I think that's why we think the steel toe causes it to cut that leather. I don't know if that's good or bad. Either way, I wouldn't want my feet in there when we do that. Hey, so next time you're kicking around a piece of pipe trying to line it up, just keep this video in the back of your mind. I don't think I've ever seen a guy hobbling around with half a foot. I don't really want to.